the Russian star now welcomes you to the inauguration of a new Russian state. Men, we've got eight hours to stop New York from becoming the next San Francisco. Make no mistake, we will stop that from happening. Yes, sir! So I'm here with the Sam Siddiqui from Sega uh, again. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 we're not. We're, we're good. Um, we're here to talk about Vanquish. Yeah. Now, um, my, uh, I, I've, I've lovingly referred to Vanquish as a uh, Gears of War on speed. Do you think that's a fair assessment? Uh, something like that, definitely. I mean, in terms of third-person shooter, it's definitely probably the most fast-paced one out there, I'd say. Definitely. And there's a lot of stuff going on, right? Like, like giant robots and... and yeah. yeah, I mean, it takes place on a, on a, a space station built by the US. Obviously, it's been attacked by uh, Russian military robots, and uh, yeah, I mean, you've got obviously your your uh, super battle suit, which gives you all those kind of special abilities and allows you to kind of speed up and slow down time. So yeah, it's crazy. It's a lot going on. The bosses, obviously, you expect from a Shinji Mikami game, kind of these kind of epic battles, and you may have tried in the demo. That's kind of like just the first level boss, but obviously, they they grow kind of like a lot, lot bigger than that. I think this is the only game, or or at least the first game I've seen in a long, long time where the lead character smokes. Yeah. And if I remember right, there's actually a button that does nothing but light a cigarette. What's up with that? Well, actually, Shinji Mikami, Shinji Mikami himself is quite a heavy smoker, so it's kind of a, like a stylistic thing uh, that he likes, and obviously being a smoker himself. But it's also got a purpose, so when you have a cigarette and you kind of throw it, the, the robot kind of sees like the cigarette flying, and it kind of draws fire away from yourself, and that allows you to kind of take out the enemies as well. So it's a good distraction thing as well. Because I, I, I didn't know this robot part. I guess I only tried the button when I was you know, safe or whatever, but... Something that I think probably it, it kind of clicks once you've been told, but you don't really realize yourself. You're just kind of like smoking a cigarette, but... I, I thought the cigarettes only would make him cool. No, it's a substance behind the style as well. The story is um, kind of crazy. Yeah, can you tell us about it? Um, well, obviously, as I said earlier, um, the, there is obviously being in the future, kind of uh, natural resources are kind of low. Um, the US have built this kind of solar powered space station to kind of harness the sun's energy. Um, Russia being <laughs> Russia, they are in video games, have attacked this um, and basically the US have kind of sent these special forces to kind of gain back control of it. So, and so I think the, the game starts out by San Francisco getting microwaved pretty much. Yeah. It's kind of like the first thing everyone saw about Vanquish. But. We already talked about the similarities with, uh, with Gears of War, but, but what, sets, what really sets Vanquish apart from, from the other shooters? Um, I think it's kind of a combination of things. I mean, this, I think there's a lot of different elements and then when you bring them together, it's kind of a really unique package. So obviously the slowing down time, it has been done in other video games before, but I think then combining that with the melee moves um, and also in conjunction with your, your power boost, um, those really give a unique feel and allow the, the, the player to kind of speed around the environment and also kind of, it gives it a level of accuracy as well. So although it's kind of very hectic and very fast, it's got that kind of pinpoint accuracy to it as well. So I think it's a combination of these things um, that allows the, the when the player becomes experienced to kind of really utilize those to their own benefit. And um, it's, a, I think, ton, 10 times faster than any other third-person shooter out there. And I think you guys have tried it for yourself. And yeah, so. Sam, thanks a lot.